What's up guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio and welcome back to another demo creator tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to use transitions and add some cursor effects to your video. Let's get started. This video you're watching right now is sponsored by Wondershare. So without further ado, let's start with the transitions. Transitions are very, very simple. If we make a cut in our video by hovering down to the timeline, and hitting Control B, we can just add a transition by dragging whichever one we want onto the timeline. Hit play, and the transition occurs. I'm gonna zoom in the timeline a little bit. If you wanna get rid of the transition that you just had, you can hit Delete, or if you wanna switch it with another one, you could drag it over this one, just like that. You can edit the length of transitions by dragging them, clicking and dragging the ends of them. You can make this one last really, really long. You can also make them go on the next clip, between the clips, or on the first clip, depending on how much of each video you want to show. If you want your video to fade to and from black, drag a fade on your video. But if you want it to cross fade, drag a dissolve on the video. Just like so. We also have some other cool ones which I encourage you guys to try out on your own time. Next, we're gonna look at some effects you can put on the mouse cursor in your videos. So let's come down to this, this cursor icon right here. And the first one we're gonna try is cursor highlight. So you just drag that onto your video. And then wherever your cursor moves, it'll highlight it. If you look in the editor, in the cursor section, we have the effect right here. It's under highlight. We can change the opacity of the mouse highlight. We can increase or decrease the area that it takes up. And we can change the color. To get rid of the cursor effect you just applied, hit the X. Or if you wanna reset it, hit this reset button. Next, we have the cursor spotlight. That'll put a spotlight around the cursor, similar to what you can do in the screen capture. Again, you can change the opacity and increase the area. Reset it, or you can get rid of it. Next, we have the cursor magnify effect, which is one of my personal favorites. The cursor magnify effect will magnify anything within your cursor's area. You can increase the area, you can increase the thickness of the magnification border and how much it zooms in. Next, we have an interesting effect, which is the click rings effect. This effect makes a ring whenever you click in your video. While you're recording the screen, Demo Creator is capturing your mouse movement and your clicks. So it can add these effects very precisely. Change the color, nice. Finally, we have the click sound effect. This will allow you to edit the sound of the click Say you want it to be quieter or you want it to be loud. <laughs> I doubt anyone would really want it to be very loud, but mostly you want to decrease the volume. So let's put that down to 32. Let's add some of the click rings so we can know where the clicks are. Awesome. So in the next video, we're gonna go over how you use visual effects in Demo Creator. But before we go, just wanna show you that there are some templates that include text and opening effects in this template section. It's not really winter anymore, but but it may still snow where you're at. <laughs> Big thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.